what's up beautiful people it's your girl tia things back after a very very long time away and i think we are well overdue for a life update so we are going to jump right in if you follow me on any platform other than youtube you know that i am now married so we got married in august and immediately went on a huge amazing honeymoon and just got back 24 hours ago <laughs> so we are definitely living the jet lag and slowly getting back into routine today is also my first day back at work um so you can tell by the bags under my eye <laughs> it has not been an easy reset but totally worth it and we're so happy to be home we're so grateful so with that let's rewind a little bit and i will give you guys a bit more of a kind of summer overview because some big things have happened number one my best friends got married in june and that was like the perfect kickoff to the summer honestly the spring because of all the bridal showers bachelorettes and everything was like even the kickoff and then june our best friends got married in the most magical magical day and there's just something special about seeing your best friend's vision come to life it was so chef's kiss it was exactly what she wanted so that was a magical day. And then that just kind of hyped us up also for our wedding, which is so fun. So they kind of kicked off the summer and our wedding kind of wrapped it up. And in between all of that, <laughs> a little life change also happened. I changed jobs. So I work in public relations, I still do. I worked for five years at an agency, um, which if you know PR, working at an agency, you essentially have a bunch of different clients I was a manager, so I managed the accounts, had my teams, and we would lead the various projects that went on in their communications um, divisions and worked with all those clients. So it's kind of amazingly stressful. I loved it because it was so rewarding, but at the same time, the stress level of having not only your actual supervisors and bosses to you know appease and make happy, but the clients themselves having to be at their beck and call a little bit with you know boundaries was a little bit difficult and as i was getting to the five year mark i just went over five years i think it was like five years and three months that i was there i was really feeling the fatigue could be because of the wedding planning of course which basically was a second full-time job but i was just starting to feel like maybe it's time to go work internally so that difference is working for one company in their PR department. So you no longer have a bunch of clients, you only do projects for that company. And the thought was kind of prickling in the back of my head, but I wasn't actively looking. And then I saw that a position opened um, at a company that is like one of the best companies to work for. The benefits, the perks are unreal. Everyone knows about this company. It's a huge, huge company in my city it's headquartered here but also it's it's global and i know someone who works there and the opportunity kind of came to me and it just all worked out perfectly and next thing i knew i was doing interviews and was offered the job so it was a tough decision um it was an emotional decision because i love 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 loved my team that i'd worked with for five years um so that was a really hard one i'm not gonna lie but i started this new job mid-june and I wouldn't recommend starting a new job two months before your wedding. Um, you know, things just played out that way. So that's how it went. And I'm very blessed and lucky. But it was hard to try and give your 110%, make a good impression. And there's a lot to learn. It's an industry that I've never worked in. It's a tech-based company. So there's just a lot of lingo and tech and product names and all of that that I don't understand on top of meeting with teams and just wanting to learn everything and get right in there and again wedding planning on the side of that and um i've been asked a lot about my wedding planner i am the wedding planner i don't have or didn't have a wedding planner so the mental load of checklists and budgeting was a lot like keep that in mind you know you have one in one day for example I think it was the Monday before the wedding, during a one hour meeting that I had at work, obviously not answering phone calls, I'm in a meeting, and I got six calls from vendors during that hour. So you can just imagine, like everyone's working nine to five, the vendors included, so it's just a lot of information flowing through your brain at all times. I will say, 
I have noticed the serene peace of not having a to-do list and the biggest event of your life to plan is a huge weight off your shoulders once it's done. And don't get me wrong, I loved it. It was just, there's highs and lows in planning something that immense. Um, so that is that on kind of June and the rest of summer, August went so fast. The first weekend of August was our bachelor and bachelorette parties, which were amazing. And then we very quickly were, you know, family flying in and parties starting and payments going out. And next thing you know, it's the week of the wedding. We were at the hall the Thursday, the Friday, and then Saturday came around and everything was perfect. It did rain. Um, and funny enough, it stopped raining every time we were inside and every time we had to go outside, it started raining. So we had to pivot a little bit on pictures and I don't do well with pivoting. So I was a little stressed definitely in the rainy moments, but I think we did a great job. Our pictures are stunning. Bright site visuals was our photographer, videographer. We got the um, sneak peek ones and we're still got a couple months before we get the full gallery. But if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely will see a few of them there. And yeah, the day was just amazing. Um, a blur when people say it goes fast. Like I'm thinking back now, I'm like, how was all of that sequence of events within really 24 hours? but it was phenomenal. Everything worked out great. Everybody was so happy. Um, it was just a big party and it was really fun. And um, then, yeah, we had a couple days and we kind of reset, packed and left on our honeymoon, which was I think 25 days total. So almost a month. And it was amazing. Like this is the trip of a lifetime. I've never been away for this long and I haven't gone to Europe in I think 15 years, 14 years. So um, it was really amazing. We started in Barcelona. We got on a Mediterranean cruise, which did France, Italy, three spots, Croatia, Dubrovnik, um, Montenegro, and it ended in Greece. And then we were in Greece in Paros for another week. So we're very, very blessed. That was an amazing trip. Um, unreal. I think I'm still <laughs> processing the fact that I just lived in Europe for 25 days. Um, it was unreal and to really be like, I don't know what day of the week it is <laughs> and I don't care. And we're just going where we, the ship takes us or when we were in the island in Greece, it was very like relaxed, which is what we wanted to end off on. So it was perfect because the Mediterranean cruise definitely is tiring. You're up at like six every day because you got to get off the boat at seven. So it's not a relaxing cruise, um, but just phenomenal food was phenomenal, drinks were phenomenal, experience, entertainment on this ship was unreal. Um, and yeah, it was just another cruise that we love. We're big cruise people. Um, so that is kind of like a very small, very quick eight minute recap of the last couple of months. And now we're just settling back into our routine. I really, really, really want to be more consistent with videos and blogs. So there is a life update blog up as well, but it's kind of similar to the content in this video. And I will be back to books. I read a lot on the honeymoon. I had my Kindle with me. So book reviews are also coming very, very soon. If you have any books you want me to review specifically, comment below. Um, and I'm also thinking of getting back into reviewing TVs and movie shows, but haven't done that in a while since the summer I turned pretty. So let me know what you think. Um, but that's it for my life update. I will be back, like I said, with book reviews, but I also am probably gonna do like a wedding tips series now that the wedding is complete. Um, so just things from the day of or planning and things like that to just get all the information out there and help as much as I can. So that is the life update from me and the bags under my eyes. And wish you guys a great day.